welcome to a let's play of Venatura. Um, this is being done as a secret Santa, and I hope that you enjoy it. So, without further ado, Venatura. Choose the hero's character class. Oh! A minstrel, traveling musicians who increase their allies' attributes through song or demolish enemies with their enchanted instruments. No. Uh, weapon experts who specialize in close combat, high defense, wield a variety of deadly abilities capable of debilitating an opponent. Now, I think I know which one I want to be to start off with, and I think it's this one. A champion, a dual-wielding master of combat that prioritize attack and agility above all. Do not wear heavy armor, has a small but deadly repertoire of abilities. Yes, please. So what is her name going to be? It's going to be... It's going to be... Loyal. Yay! She's so adorable. I'm keeping her. She's my hero now. Okay, now what? Now we have to choose our other heroes. Um, I have an idea of the team that I already want. So I'm going to pick a savior because they're good healing experts. And I'm going to call her Miranda. No reason, just because she looks like she could be a Miranda. Miranda. Okay. Um, I kind of wanted a dog, but uh, what what is this? What is this one? A spell slinger. Mm, no, I was thinking maybe what what was this one again? A combatier. Yes, that would work really well. Um, weapons expert who specialize in close combat, high defense, so a bit of a tank, with a variety of deadly abilities capable of debilitating an opponent. So I think that would be a good one. And we will name this hero... Um... Hmm. This hero looks a bit like a... Blaine? Maybe? Sure, a Blaine. And I kind of wanted a doggy hero, because I know you can get doggos, but I don't see... Oh, there's a doggo. Well, I kind of don't want them to. I want to try one of the other new classes. So I'm thinking a hunter, or a druid. Is a druid one of the new classes? I think it is. So I'm going to try a druid. Um, wield nature's power to conjure hurricanes and firestorms to destroy their foes. Not as potent as other mages, but more versatile. Wait, there was, what was the other one? Was this the other one? A hunter? No, a hunter wasn't the other one. Was it a minstrel? I don't think it was. Was it this guy? No, I don't think it was a barbarian. It wasn't the slime, and it wasn't the old guy, and it wasn't the dancer. I would be interested to see if dancers actually got changed, because they were a bit underwhelming last time, but you know what? We're going to go with, um, no, not the hunter. We're going to go with, oh jeez. I mean, yeah, we'll go with the druid. And we're going to call this one, um, Fergie. It's an all-girl team of amazing women. Um, okay, let, let's see. Loyal say, uh, uh, why is Savior's name Savior? I didn't name Savior Savior. I named her Miranda. Why isn't her name Miranda? Oh, that's a bit of a problem. Well, we can give her name Savior. I'm okay with that. So, Loyal has a two-handed slash. Ooh. Blaine has recover HP and remove all. That's pretty great. 
A Fergie has smolder, icy embrace, and shocking touch. Wow, Fergie, you're pretty cool. Okay, I think this is a good party. We're going to do really well. Now, the way I'm going to play this is that I'm probably going to do an, uh, one episode per chapter of the game, and, and um, one video for every chapter. And um, this will be the first one, and there will be some more some more coming so just so that you know that this isn't all that there will be um oh a bottled soul and a magic elixir um oh we got some items because i remember we didn't start with items last time or we did but we didn't get them till later so i guess this is when we got them because i have played this before i played the um part of the first chapter before and it was a lot of fun so well, I played the first chapter before, and it was a lot of fun. Um, very sad, but lots of fun. So I thought I'd do this, because I really like this game. Okay, so, um, healing herbs are really good. Um, strong herbs are really good. Uh, magic potions, they're nice. And a ma- wow, a magic elixir is super cool. Um, bottle potion, yeah, um, they, they bring you back, they're like, um, uh, phoenix- Downs? Yeah, those. Um, antidotes and eye drops. Um, they're pretty standard. Oh, we should save. There we go. Uh, oh, we have equipment. Um, two swords. Yes. Uh, okay. Light armor, light shield, and an axe, and some standard. Oh, a stave. Okay. Well, we're, we're looking pretty good. Okay. Hello! New heroes, are we? Seems like the Dark World's up to its shenanigans again. Well, you four look fairly capable, so we shouldn't worry too much. Welcome to the realm of heroes, brave champions. It seems the creator did well in choosing you four as his current representatives. Thanks, dudes. Well, what do we have here? Are those fresh faces I see? Do you have any idea how long it's been since that crusty old creator decided to drag some new meat into this place? too long. A girl can only fight the forces of darkness for so long no matter how good she is. Okay, Entertainer. The Great Creator brought a handful of us here for the sole purpose of taking care of this dimension of heroes and champions. And an appropriate decision it was. Some of you may well face down army, an army of ogres, but I'll be damned if you knew which side of the broom you were intended to sweep the floor with. Jeez, lady. Chill. Oop. Always search the chests and, like, shelves. Oh, a book called The World of R Radunga. Radunga? Beyond time immemorial, the dark world of Radunga has stood in opposition to the realm of heroes, home of Enmutora, the creator. Oh, that's a word. Emazeldine, mother of magic and goddess of eternal night, restlessly seeks to corrupt and bring all things under her control. Thus, heroes from across countless dimensions and timelines are brought together as one to stay the hand of evil, which seeks to snuff out all traces of life and leave naught but monster kind in its wake. The goddess lives and breathes through her children. Thus, as they multiply, so too does her powers increase. And so it shall be that, whenever the darkness seeks to taint the land, in Matura and his chosen champions shall stand steadfast in its path. That's cool. Oh, didn't find anything. Living here has its perks. For example, I don't age, or even get sick for that matter. But when you get bored, oh boy do you get bored. A man can only endure so much cleaning and cooking and eating and reading and training before he loses his sanity. Sounds like you already lost yours, buddy. Seems like Venatura, Venatura has, been, has again been summoned, but this time, this time it seems different, more powerful. But that's not a good thing. Oh, I found gold! Yay! What's in here? Nothing. But I got a broadsword. Who can wear that? Not you. Oh, there you go. It puts your defense down. I think it gets rid of your leather shield. Oh, yep, it does. Um... Let's see, can you, uh, no? Okay. Well, I guess, I guess Blaine is going to go shieldless for a little while. Oh, we can give the shield to you. 
There we go. That boosts your defense up to be equal to everyone else's. Oh wow, I can equip two of these. I can equip a sword and that that makes for a good thing, right? Because different weapons have different um, damages or something. I remember seeing that somewhere. You four were the ones summoned to deal with this I iteration of Venetura. This, this is perhaps the strongest it's been in what felt like centuries in you four? Never mind, I'm retired. I've done my job, fulfilled my duty. Enough worrying. Ah, uh, don't mind that old coot. He always has a chip on, a on his shoulder. Probably jealous that he's not able to be in the action anymore. I don't know, I mean, he's retired. Let him sleep. Lending an ear to the heroes upon their return nets your wellspring of juicy information. Did you know that while there may indeed only be a single realm of heroes and dark world of Radunga, a myriad of Tsufanas exists? That is to say, despite being a singular world, it is ever-changing, eternally shifting and recreating itself without end. What you experience will, without a doubt, be vastly different than those who returned before you. What causes this? None can truly say. I suppose in Mutura, I'm getting used to these names, in Mutora, yeah, that's the one, is the only one who can answer such a question, and she ain't talking. This eternal war will continue without end. Hero against monster, champion against champion, will face down that malevolent goddess until the end of time. But none shall emerge quite as victorious as Sellers, the first and greatest of N. Matora's champions. She thwarted and destroyed Imalzaldine's, oh, I got it that time, forces time and time again until even she met her end. We're constantly reminded that despite our position as heroes, we're still human. Yeah, dying would probably do that. We've lost a lot of good men and women to that wicked goddess. Strong people, funny, smart, very kind people. Damn that witch. Uh, yeah, buddy. Cooking, cooking, cooking. I love being in the kitchen. This will be my 1,567th year here in the realm of heroes, too. I love my job. I love it. Well, he's very enthusiastic. I don't know about slime in the kitchen. I don't know that that's very hygienic, actually. Um, there's nothing in this shelf. And there's nothing in that one. Oh, I got some smelling salts. What do they do? Removes confuse. Okay, that's useful. I like exploring places like this. Oh, look, little whirlpoolies. It's my job to ensure we've got more than enough healing herbs to go round. I think about it. Where would we be without those tiny delights? Indeed, you're not wrong. Alright, let's search all these pots. Come on, give me the good stuff. Come on. Yay, an antidote. Nothing. 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 <gasps> Potent herb! And nothing. Hi. Hmm, this harvest looking awfully paltry. None of you kind folk happen to have a miracle grow spell on you by chance. Nope, sorry buddy. Even though I've got a druid on me, she can't exactly draw s do that stuff yet. She's not high enough a level. Seems like this Zadigan guy's your target, hey? He doesn't seem like much to be honest. He's nothing compared to Vladimir, one of the goddess's elite representatives. But he hasn't appeared in quite a while now that I think about it. That was quite the adventure. I probably shouldn't say this, but I loved every moment of it. Despite the tragedies, it's something I would never have experienced had I been born a regular human on Sufana. I thank the Creator every day for this glorious existence and for giving me the power to make a difference in the lives of the in the lives of the Sufanians, no matter how brief. It's due to the efforts of us heroes that the world of Tsufana still knows relative peace free of Imalzaldine's clutches. You are very proud of your work. Hi. So you're the ones who've got to face this mighty Lord Zadigan, huh? We've been hearing quite a few whispers about that character. Apparently, 
He's gone and conjured quite possibly the most powerful version of Venatura in a long time or so they say. So, uh, best of luck. Thanks, dude. We'll do it. Okay, okay. Uh, so thrust then slash? But doesn't seem like that'd feel right. Mm, I do still think my way is better. Many come here to hone their skills, be they magic spells, special sword techniques, or something else entirely. That's cool. I need to master Catastrophe. I just cannot grasp the careful layering of its predecessor, Eruption, with Sun Sphere to make that happen. Nothing in the pot. Bandages! They'll come in handy. Ah ya ha hum ha ha hmm. Take that and that and don't call me the greatest spear world for nothing. Take this! Multi thrust! Ha 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 ya ha ha ya ha! He's very into it. Oh! Oh, that was nice. Oh, yes, let's practice. Oh, look at it! It's so adorable! Oh, it's cute! I kind of don't want to kill it now. But we'll do it. Um, holy magic! Well, okay, we don't need that yet. Um, we don't need that yet. Um, smolder! Oh! Yes! 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 Good job, Loyal! Loyal is amazing! She is the leader that we deserved in this party. Awesome! Oh, we only got two experience for that. And we are so far away from leveling up, it's not funny. I don't think it's worth it to grind up on those for a while. It would be funny, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, let's steal from our fellow allies. Beast Tamer? What was that? Oh, I, I made a... Do I do that? No, I don't do that on that. That's weird. And it sort of stopped me too. You browse the bookshelf and found nothing! Hmm? Oh, so you're next, are you? My cycle has ended. The three bouts with that tower and it's a bloody monsters is quite enough. I'm ready to ascend. But the other beds don't do it. Maybe it was something that got missed. Oh well. I see nothing. I find nothing. I found a healing herb. Oh wait, I wanted to see what bandages do. What do bandages? Remove bleeding. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a whip? Oh, w would Fergie? No. Okay, I think it's an animal only. No. No, you can't use it. You can't use it. You can't use it. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just sell it. The people who've saved and the moment... The people we've saved and the moments we shared with the people of Tsufana. It's so very hard to believe that by now the world I knew just days ago probably does not exist anymore. Time flows differently here. One hour within this realm of heroes could equal 500 or a thousand years on Sufana. It's, I don't know, I just, it doesn't feel like what we've accomplished truly matters. I know it does, but it doesn't feel that way. I guess, I guess he has, she has a point. If it's gone instantly after you're already finished it and just finished it, then it probably wouldn't feel very real to you. We ascended the dreaded tower with naught but a measly five magic potions and it's there we did battle with the dreaded Emperor Zion. Wow, you were really unprepared, weren't you? Although a masterful mage with exceptional skill in the dark arts, he drew his last death at the end of my breath at the end of my sword. Well, I mean, I guess I should try just doing that. I don't think I will. Although slimes and various other creatures in the same family are classified as monsters, they're not particularly evil. Some even live among and get along perfectly fine with humans. Their hostility is often linked to absent-minded curiosity or fear rather than a conscious decision to do harm. It's been hypothesized that a monster's intellect is related to the strength of their connection with their homeworld of Radanga. Oh, that's cool. 
Whenever the dark forces of Radunga pierce the veil and emerge upon Sufana, they are made manifest in the form of Vinaitura. It's through this pitch black tower of nigh unlimited negative energies that the dark world rapidly spreads its corruptive influence. However, it is only through advanced arcane knowledge and hefty sacrifice that th oh, it is only through advanced arcane knowledge and hefty sacrifice that the tower truly attains its full potential. That's really weirdly worded. I think they need to fix that. Oftentimes, the power of Venitura is so vast that immediately following its emergence, several artifacts are instantly created to seal and bind its overwhelming power to one location. That's cool. I like a bit of backstory. Oh, healing herbs. And gold. Oh, leather armor. Okay. Oh, a magic potion. Nothing in there. Oh, a magic stone. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, no, you can't have that. You can, but we'll see if someone else can wear it. Well, I guess maybe Blaine? Ooh, it does take down the... Doesn't... It doesn't do happy things. Um, oh, remove sealed from a single character. Okay. Well, I think we're done here. It is here you shall set out on a fantastical adventure to thwart the fiendish Lord Zadigan's plans to corrupt and conquer Tsufana with the aid of Venatura and his six purveyors of doom. This journey will not be an easy one. This iteration of the Dread Tower of Darkness may perhaps be its most powerful incarnation yet. If so, then Zadigan's powers are indeed something to be feared. But hold your heads aloft, for you four are the creator's chosen champions and the destined heroes of Sufana. Okay, I will hold my head high and I will do Sufana proud. It's time to go down and um, beat the bad guys. I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Oh, hello, Slimy. Gregory the Guritia. I've been expecting you, heroes. This is Ground Zero, the place where all the creators' champions arrive in Tsufana. This is an isolated, isolated space, you see. A separate dimension that appears as part of everyday world around it. While Tsufana may shift and change, this womb in Ulta will remain unchanged, untouched. But beyond the door over there, time flies normally, and you will at last step upon, foot upon Inmatura's greatest and most cherished of his creations, the world of Tsufana. Good luck out there, heroes. I gave him a wisp. <laughs> I thought I, I, I should give him a wisp, a uh, lisp, because he's a gooey. He's a gooey boy. Gooey boys have lisps, right? Oh, a deader pillar. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay. Um, I'm just going to see how my just normal attacks stack up. Um, physical and... Okay, I, I lie. I'm going to use fire on him. Oh, yay. Oh. Oh, that was fast. Oh, he only gave me one gold. But he did give me four experience and a leg. I appreciate the leg, Mr. Dedapillar. Thank you. Um. Oh, I can't wear that. Okay. Well, I can wear that. Can I? And you can wear that. Okay. That works. Oh, that looks. That looks painful. Oh, look, there's a person over here. Hello. Met a poor bloke in here who was cursed and confined to this cave to live out the remainder of his life. Tried to get him out a few times, but he'd always be forced back through the entrance by some some strange force. I tried bringing him food on several occasions, but I think he eventually gave up hope and forfeited his life. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that poor guy. He just wanted to live. That's so sad. I'm going to burn that bat now. Or I, I'm going to try. Good job, Fergie. You did it. 
This music's really cool. I really like this. And I picked up its wing. That's amazing. What's up here? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, I found a key. Oh, he had a key on him. Oh, and smelling salts. Maybe... Oh, maybe this key opens this door. That's a good way to, to treat you... To show you, like... Um... To instruct you in the way to do a game. Uh, to... To... The, how to. Yes, I know what I'm saying. It's a good way to teach the player that you can find stuff on skeletons and stuff. Although I already knew that. I wonder... I wonder if anybody gets confused and doesn't check the skeleton. But it's in front of a bookshelf. Or, or no, in front of the chest, I think. So if you try and check the chest, then you can check the skeleton. No, it's in front of the bed. Hmm. Maybe if they put it in front of the... 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 the, the dresser? If they put it in front of the dresser, then somebody will search the dresser and they'll say, you can't find anything there. But then they'll also search the bones. And then the bones will be like, you can find something here. And then people will be like, oh, we found a thing. Okay, we found a green pendant. Oh, it's poison resistance. Who has the least amount of HP? Um, Fergie. I think Fergie would probably be a good idea to have that. Because... Um, she needs all her HP in order to survive, because she's very weak, girl. Okay. Um, oh, well, they're not doing a lot of damage, are they? Oh, oh, Fergie, even you managed to hurt it with one, like, four damage. That's good. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I got another bat wing. How's my experience? Oh, Blaine is close to leveling up. That's good. We'll finally get there. We'll get there. We'll get leveled up and we'll be stronger than strong. And then we'll take down the bad guys and win the game and save all the puppies. There are puppies in this game. This is a very good game. Oh, where am I? Oh, I blend right in. <laughs> I blended right into the mountains, guys. I didn't see myself there. Um, east is town of Camelot. South is Brazilian forest. Well, let's go east then. Oh, look, it's a mushroom man and some sort of kitty cat. Okay, magic cat. That's adorable. It's so cute. He looks so unimpressed. He's like, yeah, I'm a magic cat. Oh, no. Don't hurt me. He says, I'm a magic cat. What are you? You're a human? Boring. You're just a normal human. Oh no, Blaine, don't get hurt. That cat was naughty. Oh, awake salt. That's interesting. Oh, where's Camelot? Oh wait, you can walk over these mountains, I think. Oh, I don't think Camelot's here. Right? No, I think that's... I think that's a dungeon. We'll go back there. We need to rest and get up levels. Oh, we should probably kill the kitty cats first and foremost. Because they're going to be troublesome. I can already tell. Oh no! They put me to sleep! Oh, they tried to. Oh, they didn't get me. That's good. I thought I was going to be snoozy, snoozy, magoozy. Um, recover HP and remove all from self. Yeah. He can only cast spell on himself. That, that spell on himself. Herself, sorry. Sorry, Blaine. I didn't mean to say himself. You're, you're all girls. Um, Blaine can only use that spell on herself, so that's unfortunate. But it's also good because it means that she can heal herself. And other heals can be, um, focused on other people. There's Camelot. What does this say? This way to Camelot. What is that hut? That's weird. Just a little hut all by itself. It's so adorable. Wait, how far away is... Oh! Oh! Savior and Blaine already hit level 2. Did you guys... No, you didn't... You didn't get any new spells? That's okay. 
Um, oh, Fergie's almost up a level. Well, let's go in here. Oh, Camelot's pretty. Stay clear of the cave to the south. It's a cursed and dangerous place. That lunatic Elbaf locked himself and Isabel down there a while ago to rot. Thought we were going to steal her away from him or some such drivel. She was an amazing psychic, but more importantly, a wonderful woman that found herself entangled in that psycho's web. Oh, that doesn't sound happy. Seeing a monstrous type such as an animal, armored, etc. within brackets in a weapon's description denotes what its effect against, against what its effect effective against in battle. Oh, oh, that's a nice sword. And Britain's best. Well, I, I'm going to get that, and then I can sell like. I can sell the hero sword, and I, oh no, not that. I can sell that, because nobody can use it, and, oh, you, oh no, that only puts her speed up. Dead pillar legs. Oh, sell those, and the bat wings. There we go. Yay. What else can we buy? Ooh, a new stave. That would be nice. Oh, and a book? puts your intelligence and agility up. This one puts your attack and intelligence up, but also boosts your stun. This one boosts your intelligence by nine though. That's pretty good for our druid. You know what? I'm going to grab it. Okay, um, loyal, I have a new weapon for you. It's called sword. <laughs> and here you go. You can have it, it's a little less attack, but it does boost your intelligence a lot, so that's good. Um, and now I can sell those two, because nobody wants them. Okay, let's see if we can get any armor. Hi! Oh, I, I don't think it's very good armor. Mm, let's leave it for now. Hi there! You see that woman over there by the pond talking to, to that thing? That's Merlin, probably one of the most powerful mages in the world. Can you believe she's actually taken interest in that Morgan character? He's one of Zadigan's six, a villain of all the people? Oh. Daddy says Merlin might seem super serious and mean, but she's a total softie when it comes to animals. Her son was the same. I keep telling my son to stop bringing up Merlin's child, but it seems like he just can't help himself. I guess there's something about someone like Merlin having a child that he's completely enamored with? I guess because she seems mean? Ooh, magic stones. And a storehouse key! Hubby's been gone a long while, too long if you ask me. Thinks Frank wants to steal his crops and pitchfork. I think he's gone to look for one of those memory flies, which means he's, uh, he's gone to the Brazilian forest. Of course. So I guess it's supper alone again tonight. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. Your husband seems, um, mean. No, um, what's the word? It's not impotent, it's impatient? No. Inconsiderate, that's the one. Ever since Morgan popped up here in Little Britain, Britain? Merlin's come out of hibernation. If it weren't for him, she'd still be locked up in that cramped hut of hers in the Brazilian forest. Young Arthur loved making frequent visits to Barkenwag with his mother. Me and the prince are best friends, he'd say. Swore they'd live together some day and go on all kinds of wild and crazy adventures together. Knowing him, it was going to happen, but now... No wonder Merlin's in this, this trance. She's so very lost without that boy, it's heartbreaking. Oh, okay. They don't say other things. Hi. Headstrong Merlin, master sorceress and quite possibly the most powerful user in all of Tsufana, yielding to that punk? Something's not right. Something's definitely not right, and this old man knows it. I found a healing herb! And a nothing. Oh, there's the storehouse key. I found strong herbs. And a pitchfork! And an antidote! What's the pitchfork for? 
Oh, that guy was saying he was scared that somebody was going to steal his pitchfork. Well, guess what, buddy? I did. Sorry. I need it more than you need it, because I'm a hero and you're not. That strange cloaked figure over there with the droopy eye has a point. We've got to somehow convince Merlin that Morgan's a villain that just cannot be trusted. It's a shame, really. I thought the poor dear had a little more sense than that, being the great Merlin and all. I guess maybe she's sad? The Lady of the Lake was said to have the unique ability to gaze into another soul and immediately deduce their true intentions. It's such a shame that she's been so blinded by love that she met her end at her lover's hands and saw herself trapped in that cave. Well, I mean, if she could see into people's... Then wouldn't she see that her lover was bad? Some brazen fool decided to steal one of Merlin's magical knickknacks, so she cursed him to forever be imprisoned within a cave to the northwest somewhere, with whatever magical artifact he'd gotten his hands on. Idiot, that's what he gets for messing with Merlin of all people. Well, she seems kind of mean, actually. Maybe she's well suited to be with that bad guy. Maybe they could be in love bad together. I'm not going to go near them, because I think that's story-related stuff, and I'm still exploring. Oh, nope, I've already read you. Merlin's only recently started coming back to the village. I think depression overtook her when her son was abducted several months ago. Oh, her son was abducted? Ever since that blasted tower appeared on the eastern horizon, there's been monsters appearing all over the place. There's no end to the freaking pest. Well, those and the damn purveyors of doom that this Zadigan character sicked on this common folk. I walked right up to her, I did. Only had a few drinks, see, and thought the world was mine. Then she shot me down and trampled over every shred of confidence I thought I had. Damn that bewitching harlot. Who's he talking about? You tried to pull your moves on Merlin, of all people? She doesn't care how rich you are. She doesn't even care if you're the most attractive man in the world. Look who she taken interest in, and you'll see my point. That long-haired, fair-skinned, wonderfully dressed and elegant... Oh, uh, never mind. What am I saying? He's even worked his black magic on me. Zadigan's generals truly are fiends. I think you just like him. It's such a shame Merlin secluded herself within the Brazilian forest during the ordeal between Isabel and Elbaf. Elbaf? Isabel... Fable! It's Fable backwards, guys! I saw! I have eyes, I can see! Ever since that blasted tower... Oh, I already read you, sorry. Thank you. Hello. Stay clear? Okay, you told me that earlier. Thank you. Did I talk to you? You folks look foreign. No offense, but you definitely don't look like you're from around here. I think we fit in quite well. Anyway, if you're in the mood to do a bit of sightseeing among all this chaos, I recommend checking out Barkenwag. It's a little village of nothing but dogs in our southernmost peninsula. I want to go there! A village of just dogs? That sounds like the best place ever! Hi, do you have things? You do. Can I sell you my sword? Thank you. Hello! Young Arthur loved making frequent visits to Barkenwag with his mother. Me and the prince are best friends, he'd say. Oh, you I already talked to. Oh, so, thank you. Pretty sure we got away with murder by having this Morgan guy arrive. I've heard horror stories of what utter monsters the other five of Zadigan's commanders are. So it seems like we ended up with the most incompetent of the bunch. Lucky us. He might just seem incompetent. Maybe he's not really. Oh, w Wild Witches Volume 5? What is that? Sell it for gold? Okay. If you say so, game. Is that a porn magazine? We found a porn magazine at the inn. We're going to steal the inn's porn stash and sell it for money. That's amazing. Okay, here we go. 90 gold? Wow, that was pretty amazing. That was big money. We made big bucks out of that one. We might be able to buy another weapon. Or armor or something. Let's see. 
Um. Oh yeah, we can buy some bronze armor and a shield. Well, let's buy some armor and let's equip Savior with um bronze armor, and then you can have that. And can you? No, you two can't make use of it. But we can sell the cloth tunic. And maybe we'll have enough for... No, we won't. That's okay. Alright. Um... I want to go and visit Barkenwag, because that sounds amazing. But first, let's head over here. Hello? If there's anything to take, it's already gone. Bandits and other ruffians gutted Isabel's cottage mere days after Elbeth dragged her away. At first they seemed like the purple, perfect couple, but he was a jealous man, and through it all she loved and believed him until the bitter end. Wow, this, this, this is really, really sad. Oh, a per, uh, you discover a particular finger-sized indentation in the back of the top shelf. Press in on it. I found a treasure! Oh, I found a love letter too! Ooh, juicy! Oh, I think we found a treasure room full of burned incense. Full of burned incense. Burned incense. Burned incense. Tome of Arms? Spellcaster's ring? I know who I'm giving that to. Alright. Well, um. Tome of Arms? What is that? Oh, it's a book! Oh no! Well, I mean... Hmm. It puts her intelligence down, but her attack will go up too. A lover's first display of a dangerous affection. And this one's a spellcaster's ring. Oh, that helps! So, she'll, she'll have her stuff back. So, this gives intelligence 9 and agility 5. Um, that will take her agility down to, and her intelligence down to. But if we, we give her that, it puts her defense and intelligence back up. But I guess if we give her that, it puts her intelligence way up. But you know what? We'll keep a hold on Spellworks for now, I think. We'll give you the green pendant instead. I think that works. I think that works well. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure chest down here. Oh, found money. That's always good. I want to go see where the Darkham walks. The Darkham walks? The doggies live. I want to see the dogs. Um, weak lightning. Oh, this is versus all enemies. Uh-oh. Oh, that didn't do much damage, did it? Well, it still did some damage. It was enough, I guess. Oh, I learned Blessed Droplet and Gale for Force. What are those? What are those spells? Oh, recovers a small amount of HP and moderate wind damage. Ooh. May inflict Frozen. That's cool. I like the sound of that. All right. I think Dog and Wag. Bark and wag. The dog place is down here. I just want to see it because I, I I didn't get to see it last time I played because when I, I I didn't think to go there first and then when I got there story stuff happened. But now I can see it. That is so good. Oh, loyal leveled up! Yay, loyal! Ah, <gasps> doggies! Hello. Wow, a human, a real human. You're the first one in a long, long time. Yes, you are. Did you come to find the best of boys? I am he and he is I. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, I stole some talons. A strange man keeps coming here at night, but whenever I spot him and bark up a whole lot, he leaves. And the guys say I wasn't intimidating. You're very intimidating, doggo. There's a super evil presence here in Camelot, 
and it's got its eyes on Bark and Wag. I know it. Even the bestest of villains need great companions to love them and lick them and be the bestest cuddle buddies in all of Savannah. And who doesn't love a cuddle buddy? No one! You're right, Bark and Wagger. Where's Arthur? I miss when he and his mama Merlin used to come visit. He doesn't hate us, does he? Did I play too rough? Aww. Maybe you could change that sigh into a whine. Cause doggies whine. Doggos do whine. Doggo, were you outside the bounds of the map? Bad doggo. Canines do not possess telepathic abilities where you're from. Oh boy, you really need to get out more. We learned this forever ago. Wow. Gotta roll in the mud and chase my tail. Frolic in the tall grass. Oh, I got me a busy day ahead. No time for chat, stranger. I'll leave you to it, buddy. Welcome to Bark and Wag, traveler. You can pet and look and play all you like. But please leave our residents where they are. We're not pets. Can I take your doggy tail? I have taken your doggy tail. Um, that doesn't work. I s no? Oh. Okay. I guess it's not something... I guess they're not something I can use? I guess they're just for sellings. For selling. But I can use them to get more money. Hello! You're all going to die today. I hope you had good lives beforehand. Bye! I found a deader pillar. Up we go. We're just heading back to town. Oh wow, this video is super long. I thought I'd get through the first chapter in an hour, but it doesn't seem I will. You know what? I think what I'll do instead is that I'll stop it in an hour because um, people don't really have time to watch lots of videos like all in big row. Like, um, they don't have time to sit down and watch a really long, long videos that are hours long. So I think what I'll do is I'll do the first one in an hour and then I can do the other ones and just continuing them on. But this will be the first Christmas present one. So so that'll be fun. I think that's something to to have you look forward to, Mirak. And I hope that you do look forward to it, because it's going to be fun fun for all of us. Um, that's a whip. I don't have any whips. Um, dead a pillar leg? Uh, I shouldn't sell that love letter. It's special. That's a claw. Nobody can use claws. I'll keep the book. Because it might be useful. Um, should I get another bronze armor? I will get a bronze shield. And I will get a bronze helmet. And I guess I'll get a bronze armor. Yeah! Get everybody outfitted the way that they can be. You can use... No, you can't use that, can you? You can, you can use the bronze armor. And you can, you can use the bronze shield. And you can use the bronze helmet. There we go. Everybody's got um, equipment that they can use. Can you use the leather? No, you can't. Okay. Well, let's sell the leather. Leather cap. Leather armor. Leather shield. Okay. There's not enough money to buy um, any more stuff. Let's see what these guys are doing. Hello. Can you not see that I'm in the middle of a conversation? Do you people always interrupt others to plattle, prattle about your heroics? Oh, I'm sorry. What's that, my dear? I'm afraid I can't hear you over the prattling of these simple-minded admirers of yours. Buzz off, darlings. You'll get your turn soon enough, but right now this one's mine, so scram! Oh, okay. Well, I guess she doesn't really want to talk to us. Well, that's sad, but I guess I understand. I wouldn't want to talk to people who are always putting me down and saying I made bad choices and, and talking bad about my boyfriend, um, even if he is a jerk. But we don't know that he is yet. Okay, I totally know that he is. But, you know, uh, it, we might be wrong. It might have changed since I last played it. Yeah, it might be a completely different game. 
You never know. You never, ever, ever know. You shouldn't make judgments before you consider everything is changing. Um, hello. I didn't find anything in the bones. I thought I'd go in here. Oh, this place looks dangerous, actually. This might have been a bad idea. Do you have... No, you just have normal. Okay, well, you guys, I'm just going to use Icy Embrace. Oh, it drained me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Fergie died. Oh, this is no good. When did I last save the game? Run away. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Come on, please. Don't die, loyal. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no, this is bad, this is really, really bad. Oh. No. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. When did I lost save? <gasps> Level one. Oh no. Now I have to do all the things all over again. I'm way back here? Oh, well. That's not very happy. <sighs> well, I'm going to do a hard cut and um, make my way all the way back up to where we were with all the stuff we have. Um, actually, we're almost at the hour mark now, so that's what I'm going to do um, while I'm uh, waiting for this video to do all the things that it's supposed to do and become an actual video. I hope you enjoyed this, Mirak. Um, happy Christmas, and uh, I hope you have a really, really good one. And this game is really fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm looking forward to playing more. Uh, I will, what I'll do is that, well, I, I'll play back to where I was and um, get all my items back and everything and then, um, then we can, I, I'll do more videos in the future after Christmas. Um, so look forward to that and I, I hope you have a good day and I ran out of things to say. I'm sorry for dying. <laughs> <laughs> I should remember to save more. I'm such a knucklehead. So, um, bye! And thanks for making a really cool game. And I hope that Christmas is really, really fun for you. See you!